<laughs> so welcome everybody, bang bang. Uh, we are here with our uh, customer service. Yes, Flavio. Flavio from Brazil. Yeah. So uh, we are here uh, doing this uh, small podcast, uh, speaking with people around the ships about the cruise ships and just general questions about how how is going uh, yeah how long you've been working on the cruise ship uh i came here actually in the january 10th 27th like yesterday was one month ago like three months ago yeah i'm to- totally new to me although i worked i have been working reception since 2016 mm. But it's totally, it's an interesting experience. So you've never been on a cruise ship? No, never been in a ship in my life. It seems like you have a lot, a lot, lot of experience. Nah. Yeah. So, uh, for example, uh, how you started? How you started this job? Uh, actually, it was something like unexpected. Uh, one of my friends, he came to me and he started, uh, Whoa, why don't, why don't you work in a cruise ship? I said, nah. It's not for me, it's not for me, it's not for me. No, 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 try, try. It's good to you, it's good for you, to, to be good for you. He gave me an email of uh, the agency and I, he told, do you have your CV in English? And I say, no, I have, yes, I have. And he told, so fix it, make it okay, send it. Hmm. You'll be called in some days. I said, no, that's okay. No, okay, I said, I... Like I fixed my 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 CV in English, like I uh, yeah, how do you say you. updated, yeah updated, yeah. and <clears throat> yeah I sent it without any faith, any expectations that they will call me. Three days after they called me for an interview. Of course, because you had a solid. Uh, I I suppose you have a solid CV. I didn't saw it yet, but. Yeah, like not a solid, but yeah, because I, as I lived out of the country, as I lived in Israel for seven years, I didn't have so much experience in the the GSA area, in the, the reception area. Yeah. Actually, my my experience started seven years ago in two thousand six. We'll arrive also there. Just yeah. One second, uh, because I'll have uh, structure a little bit more questions. Okay. So tell me about uh, what moment brings you into the childhood. Wow. <laughs> Something that, I don't know, when you feel sad or if you feel bad, you all the time remember this thing and make you feel bad, make you feel good. So. Make, make, makes me feel good. Yeah. Actually, I didn't have so much happy childhood. Like, Where did I you had, grow up? I grew up in Rio de Janeiro, but I, as a only child, I was uh, very like lonely in my childhood. So I needed to, most of the times, to get along with myself. I had to make up like games to do with myself, like with dolls and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was very also very. In Romania lonely. was the black dolls was more cheap, so that yeah, was yeah, that kind of was boy. that yeah exactly. <laughs> so I needed this. Uh, I, I needed to to ar- arrange myself in my childhood with uh, toys by myself. Like I didn't have any brothers and sisters, so I needed to oh, do it so myself. Single in parents. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you are the cocolone, how you say in Italian? Yeah, cocolone. No, this is a word I don't know. Yeah, but the, yeah, like I was a very lonely child. So my childhood, most of my childhood, I spent by myself. But uh, you, more or less, your childhood, what years it was between? I was born in eighty five, nineteen eighty five, until yeah. Nine eighty. Eighty yeah, eighty five, eighty five, ninety. Eighty five. Let's say like this. So yeah. was the childhood in eighty five, nineteen in Brazil. Yeah, I can it. tell you about uh, the TV shows and everything. Uh, for MTV, me, you had MTV? I uh, had MTV, but, but we, we didn't had watch it, it much. After 90s. Yeah, we had it after 90s as well, but I didn't watch so much because in, in that time, TV was uh, MTV was a closed channel. I see. Like it was a only satellite channel, only satellite TV. So, in this 80s, in Rio. 90s, how it was? What games did you do? Ah, wow. How you we spend had your a, time? Yeah, I, I spent my time, as I told you, I spent my time playing video games, playing with toys by myself. I didn't have any friends in my childhood. My parents was very were very strict in the fact that they we wouldn't accept people at home. Like they wouldn't like they didn't let me go to my friend's home and didn't accept no one at home. I can count in one hand how many times I received like the, uh, friends as guests at, at home. So. 
It was a bit lonely. But, but I got, you got used to it. Situation? Or? No, no. It's just my my parents. My parents were like that. They were very strict. Our about was, was the same, but we had two or three child that they could be allowed in our home. You know? Yeah, I know, but yeah, my my parents were very strict, and everybody was like, oh, oh, why you don't go to your friend's house and play video games with them? Because, you know, uh, most of most of the I think the biggest reason was that my mother was afraid that I would. Uh, bother or something and she oh, didn't want okay. nobody to bother her and she didn't want someone to to say oh my your son is bothering me or something like that so that's why we were very strict about this okay so which neighborhood in rio, rio you were uh, you grew up i grew up in three neighborhoods no i i i was born in curitiba but uh i came to rio when i was two months and we uh yeah we lived in maracana after that we lived in grajau you don't know these places but i've been to maracana in, yeah, yeah it's in the north zone okay. of rio and after that we went to Baja da chijuca actually now it's a that's a like wealthy people place uh -huh. but in the time it wasn't so i spent most of my 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 childhood in Baja da chijuca did you have any experience when you were child or teenager which kind of experience i don't know everybody say about the rio uh, most dangerous place so. no 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 in my childhood no, i i was like robbed twice in my life <laughs> but i was already an adult in the time yeah you know, so it's okay. okay what's your biggest fear from your childhood my biggest fear from my child wow yeah. Yeah. from my child my biggest fear was yeah, something that I can't, I can't, I can't get along. I now it's better, but I, I never liked rejection. To be rejected, that's why maybe I don't reject anyone. Okay. So yeah, one of the my, my the only thing I can remember right now is rejection. Cool. Uh, about your family, uh, more, uh, more saying like that. Uh, who do you think in your family was your hero? Who has the special my father. skills? I mm. know, singer or a player or something. Yeah, my, I, I, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of anyone. Like I, I am not fan of artists. I fan. I'm fan of art. I like art. I don't like the artist himself. I don't like these kinds of. Uh, I don't think it's uh, healthy to venerate someone to to worship to worship anyone anyone any person because in the end is a person like you already so 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 why your father was the my father was like my hero because i lived with him and i know him personally like i know his his personality his I, way. I yeah his way it's different when you are a fan of someone just because you hear you listen to his songs and just because you see what the media shows you but you be you have to be a big fan of someone who lives with you every day and and, and teaches you uh, values and and, 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 and yeah, yeah. raises you like not actually raise you but like lead you guide you lead you yeah it guides you the the person guides you in your life that's the person that you have to worship. Very not good. someone that you, you never 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 have seen you in but life. somebody from your family that was a singer maybe or a no 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 or no we don't have artists in the family no no very good very good how did you took the decision to come to the cruise if you told us uh, yeah it was uh, your uh, and tell me how you persevered your your life here when you moved here because everybody's saying ah oh, every city every day another city another country all the time fairy tale all the time uh, excursion life no no because uh, I already was when I came here how was your first day first day first day was very hard mm. because we had to wait a lot for the embarkation uh, now I understand why and at the time I was very angry because we haven't eaten anything for <laughs> five hours but yeah. no I understand now why because I understand because it's it's crew life like you get used to it and in the end it's like in the beginning it's hard very hard tell us about first day how how you see the first wow. first, first, day, first day first day it's a story there also with me it was a story yeah the about... first day how can i see yeah it was a very hard because i didn't eat i we, we would haven't eaten anything and i went straight straight to work i didn't work so much in that day because it was my first yeah, day just was, shadowing yeah, it's just shadowing. Yeah, it's just shadowing. I came, I I came to the reception. I met everyone who worked with me, 
who you work with me, I I learned a bit how it goes here. But uh, the most I think the most difficult thing was to share a room with someone. So the idea of sharing the room. Until now, you didn't share with anybody. No, because as I told you, I, I am an, I am I was I was always an only child, so my room was mine. Wow. My room was like my world. Nobody interferes. Nobody comes to say anything. Nobody asks me yeah. to do anything in my room except my mom. But my room is my room. So you what know? advice you can give for the people? Yeah, if but not, not to get them afraid. Just no. If you are not like uh, ready to, if if you don't come with this head that you share a room with someone who can be from other culture, from other country, like. Think twice, think twice, because it will be a bit stressing at the beginning. Very straight answer. <laughs> yeah, it will be very stressing. Yeah, it will be very stressing. Tell us about the nightlife on the ship. Yeah. Now it's an, a bit uncommon because I don't drink and I don't, I don't, I don't like messy, messy places. You know, I don't like full places. So uh, most of the time I spend with my friends. I go, we go to the crew bar, we stay there. I don't drink alcohol, so I take my Coca-Cola and I... Yeah. Is allowed to say Coca-Cola? Yeah, of course. Ah, no, because it's YouTube. No, maybe. yeah, don't worry. <laughs> you can say whatever. Okay, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> so I take Open my... format. Let's yeah, see. I take my Coca-Cola and I have to... I, I stay there. Like, if there, it starts to be messy and a lot of people come in, I the only thing I want is to go out. I not life nightlife for me it's a bit uh it's a uh, normal for me like I, I don't have anything special to do but there are me. parties there are uh, there are there are uh, crew parties yeah you go you join the crew parties part of the crew parties usually nightlife we have where to enjoy we have where to have a drink uh, yeah we have drunk, yeah we have, yeah we have we have the crew bar mm. people get along there after stressing the off work now I, we have a little bit of um, how you say limitations because yeah restrictions restrictions because they give you only four drinks but before yeah. during the pandemic but they before were giving during two the drinks but before the before before pandemic it was no <laughs> limit so wow. you could waste yourself yeah but today i think it's okay for drinks sometimes give you five because just you know get to know him so he knows that you don't get to do yeah yeah the, yeah rubbish it, yeah here you'll be here the, there are people who will be like more less strict with you if they know your your history exactly. and they if know you behave you so behave cool. well, so yeah, every, every, everything you will be okay. You can smash yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you smash yourself, go to the cabin, don't be around. I don't know if it applies to you, but how, I don't know if you have any story or something about the relationship or on the cruise ship. On board, no, yeah, no, on board. no, 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 because uh, it's a very hard thing to keep. Because if you let yourself fall in love with someone, in the ship life, you may not see this person again. Exactly. Like happened to me twice. <laughs> you may not see this person again. And, and in then, the end you have to in the end you have to just accept the fact that the person won't embark anymore with you embarking on another ship. Exactly. And you will be like in your in your ship and the person will be in the other ship. And because of the distance, maybe because of the the distance, you won't be able to see each other for a long time. And at the end of the end, it happened to me this contract. For example, we had uh, I had a relationship on previous contract. Yeah. And she embarked now on different ship. I embarked on different ship, and we remain like this. Okay, let's remain friends. We'll keep in touch. Everything. Yeah, is okay. yeah, yeah. And then I start to have different. I start to see somebody else. Yes. And then she let me know that she's coming. So now I'm in the middle of. A, double trouble because i started to like another girl but wow. i still like the beef ah, so it's like a novella so that's pre why prepare for <laughs> yeah wow you never know and that, that's confirmed. why it's very dangerous and it's still not confirmed that she'll come but it's the feeling what i'll do now yeah what i'll do now so yeah. i need How... to stop from everything even if i like the new girl i need to stop because it's not fair for her so i explain she understands so it's a cool cool girl so yeah but <laughs> shit happens Shit happens, yeah. Shit happens, especially. Uh, wow, that that's what and, uh, that's what I want to avoid the, the most. Yeah, but at the end of the day, everybody's happy because you start to talk. So yeah, every end of the yeah yeah, that's a thing I wanted to to mention here in this conversation. 
I would say it's not an interview, it's a conversation. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Here, everybody's so, allowed to do whatever. Yeah, so... Because, uh, just a small part before, keep your idea. This is only for our recordings. For me, for example, just to have, uh, like, rememberings in yeah. 10 years, I want to re-look, re-watch yeah, these videos. That's, also that's for you, cool, you man. know where to find uh, your small talks that we had. Yeah. Please. So, uh, one thing that I wanted to, to mention here, it's like, if you can have friends, even temporary friends, at the time that you are on board, having your ship life, do it. Because you will need them at the end, and they will need you as well. Oh, yeah. Because one day that you will feel bad, that you feel very shitty, that you feel very, you know, wasted because of your work, guests are breaking your balls, or... Anything, your boss is breaking your boss. You need someone to to count on. So yeah, you need friends. You need friends, even if they are temporary. If they, if 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 even if you have the feeling that you won't see these people again, and every contact it will be different people. But uh, like, take advantage on it. I would like to add here. Even if somebody breaks your ball, try to be friendly with everybody because you don't know next contract what position they'll cover. Yeah. So I don't say lick the ass, but try to be friendly. Try to find all the time the better, the most pacific way to solve the problem. Even if yeah. you have the problem, because it will be a next contract. You know? Everybody next will contract. say, this is the last contract, last contract. And this is my fucking seventh ship already. Nobody, yeah. Everybody says, I won't ever come back to the ship. I won't ever come back to the ship. I won't ever come back to the ship. And they always come back because, you know, it's like in Brazil. I don't know how it's in Romania, but in Brazil it's like this. When you are in hotel, you're working in hotels, most of the time you'll be a slave of this. You'll be this, you'll be, it's, it, you'll be, I think like everything. yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be a slave of hotel. Everybody will call from Hotary. You won't find any job anywhere else. But very rare, very rare, very hard. Because when you when you, they they look at your CV and you are a receptionist, they will always call you for hotels. Always, it's it's like. And one thing, ship life, and in Brazil at least in Hotary is the same, the same. Pattern. Under quotes, mafia. Because <laughs> if you do shit here, they will know somewhere. Somehow, your name will be told in the other ship, and in the other ship, and in the other ship, and all the agents, agencies, when they search for your name, they will see that you're in a blacklist in this, in this, in this, in this, and the companies may not take you anymore. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Well, uh, saying that, uh, did you felt any involution, or you ever been afraid about involution instead of development? Trying, I don't know, uh, downgrade instead of upgrade. No, because I think no, 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 because I don't believe in evolution. You always learn something new. You always work in this uh, this field, or you work in different fields as well? Yeah, I worked in this in the other fields when I went to when I was living in Israel. I worked in the factory in factories in like uh, warehouses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically factory and warehouses. So. I, I'm, I'm, uh, my experience is very, like, it's a very messy thing because in Israel I worked in a pizza factory and after I went to a cheese factory and after I went to a soy factory. So plenty of, okay. Yeah. As well for me, I was working in metal mechanics for Michelin in Italy. And then wow. I did the, the toilet uh, pumps in England. You so, see? Yeah, factory yeah. life is different. Maybe this would factory be life is different. Podcast. And but everybody was telling me, oh, go to work at hotels because you speak languages. So you, you, you get along with people. You like communicating. You like to, to, to speak. So you get this impulse from yeah. somebody else. Yeah, always. So same here because I was doing uh, small parties, events, DJ events, microphone, blah, blah, blah. And somebody told me, oh, why you don't try? And then my aunt says, hey, you remember I was working on, uh, on the cruise ship. Why you don't try? At least try one contract. Yeah, try one contract. You know? yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. I, I, first contract, I always say in this uh, podcast, I, I start to work as a sales attendant on Costa. Oh. But that was like a plan. Okay. Because I, I well, I filled my car. I was living in England, so I heard about this 
job fair, sigur uh, job fair in Munich, in Germany. Okay. So I pack my car with friends and let's go to Munich for one weekend. So we arrived there, packed with the CV. So I went to all, everybody, all the, the companies I went with the CVs. And then one company told me, hey, I read your CV. You had a lot of uh, experience in call center because I have several years in call center. I said, if you have good customer skills and uh, drive to the people, eh, would you like to try maybe a position in a customer sup- in, um, in sales attendant, trying to sell something? Have you ever sell something? Said, yes, of course. I was working for Booking.com. I was selling as a tour operator. Yeah. And I said, great. You are hired. <laughs> What? <laughs> I want a DJ. I want to do that. I want to do no, no, no. Forget about DJ. Fuck it. This is the only company that give you offer yeah. something. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Whatever. They give me six hundred dollars contract in 2019. I accept it, but my drive, my focus was to speak with the people that are on board. What they did, the people that they work on the entertainment. What they did to arrive there. So they told me, you need to do this training, this training, you need to say this, taka, 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 taka. they give me information about who hire regarding the entertainment, so I did this. But this is mm. for another podcast because it's a very long story of what I did in the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your money, what you do with them, what you invest in, if you invest I'm in not, something. I'm not good in investing, I just am good to, I'm good, I'm a very cheap guy sometimes. I'm good on not spending, but I'm not good in investing. I don't understand anything about investments. So what you do with your money? I just don't spend it. <laughs> I spend the <laughs> less as possible. Spend. Okay, keep I it. spend the less as, po- as possible. Did you did the army? The army? army? No, I wasn't at army. You mean army? Yeah, no, yeah. no. So it's I not never. mandatory in. Uh, it's mandatory to subscribe to army. Ah. But it's not mandatory to do it. In Brazil, so it's not mandatory. To it's do. mandatory to subscribe. Like he, he, they will ask you to go, like, okay. but they they can decide if you go or don't go or not go. And most of the times, being sincere here, most of the times, if you say I don't go, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I don't, I, they they don't put you there because they don't want to have stress. Yeah, they won't put someone there that doesn't want it's to drive. Do. Yeah, like I, uh, unless there is a situation that we had, uh, we have a. A lack of people in the army, they won't put you there forcibly. They won't do it. Okay. They will simply give you the paper, you are free from army, that's it. Bye. When was mandatory in Romania, I remember uh, my brother and also some of my friends, they were saying, well, you just go and subscribe to a university mm-hmm. and then they will just forget about uh, you yeah. because you go into the army. So they even don't call you to go to the army. Yeah. So two, three times my brother just click like this and then they just took it at all. In the year when I did 20 years old, Romanian government, they uh, canceled the subscription for everybody is mandatory at 20 years old to do the army. Wow. So I was very, very lucky. <laughs> but from hearing from stories from friends, they said it's funny to go in, uh, in the army. It's also a little bit hard. You make a little bit your heart, a little bit uh, your life. You make a little bit more uh, settled. Okay. I mean, Make your bed, don't accept the uh, room store to come to make your bed or stuff like that. Wash your clothes. Anyway, I wash my clothes on my grandma's uh, breaks in the <laughs> summertime. All the time she'll say, if you want to eat, wash your fucking clothes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tell me about the, the, so far your contract. Tell me the most funny moment. I suppose you have lots of moments. Uh, wow, I have a lot of guest. funny moments. Yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of, uh, a lot of funny moments. But one of the most fun, funny moments were was uh, wow! I have a lot. Wow. The one that somebody will laugh at. Oh, okay. I'm not so much a, a big dancer, but when I the first you, I think you don't. I think you remember that the, the our first crew party when I in the, the gala disco. no no the, the, before the gala the when the, there was the gala night mm. in the crew bar there was a, our crew party in the crew bar I don't think I was on board yet I think yeah you don't think it was you I don't think you were on board I danced a lot and all of the Brazilian people were around me like clapping really? hands and screaming and like <laughs> someone was filming 
And after that, everybody, like, I was so concentrated in my dancing, I didn't see anyone around. That's cool. But after that, I just, uh, I just, I got tired and I went away because I'm like this. I don't say goodbye to anyone. I just leave. Yeah, me, me too. I don't say goodbye. I don't <laughs> say goodbye to anyone. I just leave. Yeah. But uh, regarding with the, with the guests, what funny moment? Stupid wow. questions because I how I yeah there were <laughs> on call center we yeah, had I... lots of questions. What's your date of birth in January? January what? January 16th. January 16th, what? What dear? What motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, uh, no, many, some guests sometimes they call and they say, what is the temperature outside? Or how, how is the, like, uh, from how many meters we, we are in the sea? How many meters do we have from the sea? Like, like uh, just look on the smartphone. Ah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Cheers we, we don't know Sim things that. Oh, how many, how many knots is the ship going? Like, what's the speed of the ship? There is the television telling you in the real time. There's a channel five or something. But they call from the cabin. They don't know this no. kind of information. No, I tell them channel five. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, it was a good tip. I didn't know about that. Yeah. yeah well, just check it, double check exactly ah, the channel. And but well, I think channel five or six. One thing, I don't watch TV for seven years, so like. Just try uh, to browse, you'll find the channel, you tell them. Yeah, I'd like. The I, 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 I'd like to say I don't watch TV for seven years, so like. Me neither. I don't. I don't like. I don't have patience for it anymore. Me only training, training, training. Even even PlayStation, I sold it because I want. I was so drawn to to do lights, 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 <laughs> and then I eat only even on my tablet, even on my phone only lights tutorials how to program how to program how to program so this is my new playstation lights now yeah yeah i, I am like that i don't watch tv at all i don't uh, we have a tv in my cabin i don't use it at all because i don't watch it i don't have patience anymore we, if i have some movie i'll download it in my phone and i'll yeah i'll watch in my phone so any stupid questions from your guests <laughs> every day every second <laughs> every second <laughs> what you could advise somebody that is new how to grow up in a cruise ship company not necessarily this i'm still waiting for this answer okay good you are very young what you will do after this contract i'm very young 38 is very young who cares <laughs> you are young and that's it even if you are 50 you're still young okay i'm still thinking if i will handle another contract for me when you go in pension that is the beginning of the end yeah, no, I won't like to go in pension. Even if I'll get out in pension at 40 years old, I will still think that this is the beginning of the you end. You know, I, I, I remember when the first time I came from Israel, the first job I had in Brazil, the first year that I worked, they say, you are on vacation. In Brazil, we have one month of vacation. Over? One month per year. No, oh, no because it's different. No, 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 not this. Let's say we you start your job. You work for a year without vacation. When you work for a year, from the year that you, from the, the, the day you made one year, you can have vacation of one month. Nowhere else you have vacation of one month, 30 days at home. So the first time I took vacation, I didn't understand because I was 15 days at home. I, I didn't have any more what to do. I was getting crazy. So I think I won't ever get in pension because <laughs> Only if I can't go out from my bed because I, I, I don't have what to do. Yeah. If you stay so much time, like, uh, not doing anything, not working, not studying, not doing anything, I think th that's what you told. It's the beginning of the end. You don't have will for life anymore. That's very bad. I don't think I go pensionary in any time. Very good. What you what would you change to you so far, for example, from your experience, if you will come back to 16 years old or 18 years old, or oh. 25 years old, which one will be the the biggest change? If it's not very personal, of course. No, 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 it's okay. I would change my way of uh, seeing people because I have learned how to deal with the human being since I was. A teenager as I told you I was uh, always alone so I, I trusted so much in people I still trust in people but I always 
I know now how to deal with uh, the fact that someone can lie to you because it's normal. Like, In the face. Yeah, someone can lie to you. Someone can uh, try to deceive you. Someone can try to... I, I always think that now I learned with life. Learned life taught me very uh, this very beautiful thing that you shouldn't expect anything from anyone. And that one, yes, it's true. <laughs> you shouldn't expect anything from anyone. You do what you need. Don't expect anything back. Well, because well. certainly, if you expect from someone something back, you get disappointed. You get disappointed. Yeah. Do what you need to do. Don't care. Oh, this guy, I did this and this and this and this guy did you have to make your choice. You chose to do, do what you did. Yeah, don't do things expecting that something. Don't will do come things back. expecting that the person okay. the person will give you back. That's good. What do you expect from this summer? For example, in Europe now it's summer. beginning of the summer, uh, wow. end of April, beginning of May. You know, I don't care about these things at all. How is in Brazil the summer? Summer Starting in Brazil is almost all the year. It's all the whole year is summer. There. Ah, so you don't have. Yeah, we don't have. Yeah, we don't. We, we have season. Of course, we have seasons, but. They're not defined as in Europe, for example. The first time I saw autumn in my life, when I was in Paris. Yeah, really? That I <laughs> saw like, the, orange, the orange leaves yeah, and golden. the orange trees falling. I say, wow, that's autumn. First time of my life I see what's real autumn. In Brazil, you don't have to. Depending on the place, you don't have this, this kind of... Uh, have you traveled in Brazil, like far in Brazil? Far? In no, no. We went, I, I have been to Minas Gerais. It's far away from Brazil? that. Not that much, but it's in still in the south to southeast zone. One hundred, two hundred kilometers. Oh, more, more, more. Four hundred, five hundred. Like it's to twelve. Mm -hmm. Like to Belo Horizonte is like from Rio, Rio, and if I'm not wrong, it's like uh, ten hours, eight hours yeah. by bus. Okay. From São Paulo to Rio, six hours by bus. I went to São Paulo. I have been to my city, Curitiba, just for three hours because I needed to. To, to like to arrange some documents yeah. there and that's it i come back i came back uh, but northeast north i never have been to so how is the countryside of brazil is uh, chaos like in sao paulo uh, countryside Rio? no yeah. no countryside is very you know i went to a countryside once to not country 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 but very Fast, very okay. very very little 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 town okay Sometimes there, after 10, you don't have anything to, like, it's all empty. That's it. That's it. So Every, can everybody's walk, nobody at, can Yeah, you can go on the streets, whatever. nobody will even look to you. So I feel like in Europe, normal. In, yeah. In Europe, but I think... Not in Europe, but... All over, in the small towns, you have this experience, you can go just walking. For example, I heard about Costa Maya or Cozumel. You can go 12 o'clock in the morning, there is nobody on the street. You can just yeah. drink a beer or something, nobody will tell you nothing. That's my style. I don't like, I, I like the night, but I like the night to be at home. I don't like mm. to go out. I don't like night nightclubs, all this thing. I don't like. Yeah. I don't know. What is new? What the teenagers speaking about today? We are both over 30s. What the teenagers speak about today? I don't even try to understand anymore, man. <laughs> Why? I don't even try. I don't try it. I don't try. The world has changed so much. I, I don't even try to. Do you think also our uh, grandpas were saying the same? If we we'll ask them, hey, what's changed today? I don't fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give I don't. I, really, I don't care. Very good. Very I don't good. care because I don't know. Pe people have changed so much, man. I so I stopped start. I stopped trying to understand it. You know, I just accept it. Huh. <laughs> just accept. How it. is different Israel between uh, Brazil and? Yeah, Bra Brazil now uh, it's getting more uh, less religious than it was at, at least when I was growing up. You're people Catholic, right? I was born Catholic, but not anymore. I was uh, born. Like with all this idea of Christmas, Easter, yeah. every, all the family together. Now it's not like this anymore. Now people yeah. are losing it. Like slowly, slowly, slowly. Constantly. Little by little, they are very. They are, they are losing the, yeah. not the faith, but they are, like people now they take things more logic, you know. And and they are like, 
I, I, I started, I started uh, noticing that Christmas, New Year, Easter, all those religious uh, holidays, they are not as special as they were when I was a kid. All the time I remember they were putting on the, on the TV, they were putting Home Alone. <laughs> Brazil as well. As well. In Brazil as well. <laughs> Also, 25, also, yeah, exactly. December 24, December 25, Home Alone 2, Home Alone 3, and Home Alone 1. From all the countries that you travel, which one did you like most? Wow. You know, this contract, I feel like home. Turkey, Morocco, and Israel. I come back to Israel. Really? Yeah. But what age did you move to Israel? 24. So how long you stayed? I would stay until I was to. 30, 31, 31. Oh, so seven years, yes. Lots, lots seven of years. years. Seven years. How is Israel? Everybody is saying about this. No, 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 no. Depends on depends on many situations, man. Israel is not as it appears on the media. So now, for example, our uh, cruise ship is docking in Haifa during Haifa. the um, excursion to Jerusalem. I, and so yeah, on. I didn't How go. Up, I didn't know. Jerusalem is a very in interesting place. Danger? Not danger. No, 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 no. Green light. Uh, you know, it's very hard to say that Israel is a dangerous place because, uh, how can I say it? It's like, there are not, I wouldn't say not dangerous places, but dangerous uh, pieces of time that ah okay oh those days they there are there is a conflict so those days will be might a bit hard be. might be hard but not all every time not 24 hours a day of course the country passes through a, a pressure daily like always it will pass through a pressure like it will be on pressure every time do you know which times we can be more tension if i remember right the, the no the most Easter. no no the, the time that they most have conflicts is, is in summer really yeah yeah summer at at least every summer will be some conflict <laughs> little little <laughs> big but it will be on, on most of the time will be on summer yeah okay good yeah but it's not something that you can't deal with for example for me it's okay i got used to it it's okay. nothing something it, because israel is a very safe place safe place in the the sense that you have security everywhere. You in feel Brazil? safe everywhere. No, in Brazil, no. Brazil, why? Because no. the police cannot make it, or why? No, yeah, like it's polit it's politics. Always, everything it's politics. Ah, so everything is starting from the top. Like yeah, always. everything, everything. You think in Israel is better than you know? The Israel, top. it has these shits as well. You know, like I won't, I won't defend the pol the politicians because I don't defend politicians yeah. and I don't defend the politics, but. In some way, Israel is better to to live because, for example, as you told, I was a living in a city. I was living in a city that I would go out from the work at two at night, going to my home, like going home uh, at two at night, walking. Nobody would care. Nobody would come. Nobody would ask me anything. Nobody would tell me anything. Brazil, you might have surprise. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but most of the times, you have surprise. I understand. So, which country you like most so far? <sighs> Morocco. Morocco and Turkey. Both Why? of them. I feel home. I feel at home. <laughs> we arrived in Morocco for my first time and we tried to find this couscous everywhere. Close, close, close. Ramadan, close. Because close. it's Ramadan, yeah. Because it's Ramadan. So, I hate it because I found only McDonald's and kept. But the thing, yeah, but you know what? I always liked these countries. I always was attached to this somehow. I don't know if it comes from another life. You don't. I don't know if you believe in reincarnation all those things, but I believe in. I. I think I was somewhere. You were there. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in my in my my soul was has has belonged to to this to these places. So far, Turkey, Israel, Morocco, all of the this Middle East. You know, think I I was. I am connected to this somehow. It's strange because so far I travel all Europe, like all Europe, without Canada, all America, uh -huh. at least the East Coast, yeah, all Southern America, uh -huh. and I didn't feel any deja vu. 
I feel deja vu in Greece, but it's very similar maybe with the different countries. But I didn't. So it's missing now Asia and uh, Australia and New Zealand. So maybe there, I'll feel there. Yeah, Asia would like to know as well, like Who knows Japan, I, Korea, and China. If I will feel this deja vu that I feel. Yeah, uh, that this I think it. I, but so far incarnation. I don't yeah, it was fine. It was very strange for me because I never have been to an, Arab, an Arabic country before. So when I we got to Morocco, it was very special because I dealt with this like directly, you know. So you learn also the language. Yeah, I know Arab. So I know some Arab. I know some, I know how to speak some Arabic. So you don't die of no 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 die starving. No no no. Very good. So there is a place where you move in any countries. I will. I was lived in Israel for seven years. So you will move back to Israel. Yeah, of course, for sure, for sure. That's cool. Tell me, I know this is a general question that okay. I ask uh, almost everybody. What do you think is the most compatible sport with alcohol? <laughs> but you don't drink. But you ever drink? No, not not. You no. never get drunk. No, 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 no. Really? No. Okay. I drink. I I, I used to drink sips because of my my father and my grandfather. They were. My, 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 my father is Brazilian, but no, my father is Brazilian, but my grandfather was Portuguese. So every lunch, the M, every family lunch, we drink a sip of wine. Mm. But now I don't drink anymore. But now when I was little, I drink, I drink wine. That's it. I don't drink alcohol. So I have a backup question. What uh, character of uh, animation would you like to be? <laughs> wow. That's a cool question, man. Character of animation. Oh, wow, so many. I can make Which you a list. Which one do you think it will suit most? <laughs> I don't know, man. You caught me now. I don't know. <laughs> wow, I don't know because I have, I, I have, I'm very connected to many of them. Very good. So, uh, that's it for now. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, Thank you, man. joining Thank you, man. us to Fante de Lumina podcast. Fante de Lumina. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, everyone. Send you the link. And I know Thank you, man. Thank you. You man. find this, if doesn't fail YouTube in 20 years, you find this here. So, wow, yeah. that will be very cool, man. Bye-bye. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot.